time for Weasel News with your host, Don Lavender. Good evening, Los Santos. I am Don Lavender. Our top story tonight, citizens have been expressing concern as a recent flight school opening has seen the number of pilots in San Andreas increase by over 4,000%. An unexplained increase in millionaires in the area, coupled with an influx of military training jets available for purchase, has literally filled the skies with clumsy delinquents. Citizens are calling for a more stringent training program and thorough background checks to be carried out before pilot licenses are dispensed. Valerie Versetti is down at the San Andreas Flight School with new recruit, Richard Fluffers. Thanks, Don. Richard here just graduated on the Dean's List from the local flight school. What made you want to learn to fly, Dick? Well, uh, my father used to be a pilot, and I uh, really wanted to follow in his footsteps. So there's a rich history of pilots in your family, then. Did he fly in the war? Oh no, he just passed his test last week. You said he used to be a pilot. Yeah, they took his license away yesterday. He was attempting an inverted loop when he got distracted by some shiny boots in the window of Binko's and crashed into a tree. <laughs> Classic dash. Okay, thanks Richard. As you can see, Dom, they really will let any old idiot fly these things. Thanks, Valerie. We'll be right back after this message. Damn it! Arrgh. What the hell's your problem, boy? I can't complete this stupid stunt jump. That's because you ain't got no sprunk. Sprunk? Yeah, it's a drink. You gotta shake it up until the top pops off. It gets all over the place and it's real sticky, but as you can see from your bike, it works. Whoa, thanks a lot, dude. Welcome back. Now it's time for entertainment news, where Brian T. Chest is live at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard for the premiere of Exterminator 4, Rise of the Locusts. Yes, I'm here on the red carpet at the premiere of the Exterminator 4, Rise of the Locusts, starring no other than former San Andreas Governor Ronald Weissenegger. The movie has been billed by critics worldwide as quite possibly the worst movie ever to be greenlighted here in Vinewood. This clip from the movie actually went viral in a marketing campaign to promote the launch. Hey, Peter, you want to hear a joke? Fine. So my wife is looking in the mirror the other day, complaining about her titties. Honey, can I get $15,000 for a boob job, she says. So I said, but honey, you don't need 15 k Just rub some tissue paper on them and they'll grow as big as you want them to be. How the fuck is rubbing tissue paper on my titties going to make them any bigger, she says. So I said, well, look at what it did to your ass. <laughs> it looks like the premiere has just finished. And here comes movie night's Jonathan Paula. Mr. Paula, what did you make of the movie? And is it truly as bad as they say? EO4 may not be the absolute worst film ever made, but it is the only $300 million epic that features a Cleveland steamer to kill a giant bug. And don't even get me started on the acting. I've seen better delivery from a broken speaking spell. The plot is a mess, the effects look like they were built in a trial edition of iMovie, and the dialogue is worse than a 4chan message board. Still, I can't wait to see part two. Ronnie was great. Well, that's... that's quite a statement. Thanks, Jonathan. Back to you at the studio, Don. Don't go in the bathroom for a while. I just dropped a deucer this big. Uh, now sports. We Zul Sports. Yeah, boy! Thanks, Tom. Today is the day that morons across the state have been waiting for. It's the most anticipated event of the week and the ultimate in ball swelling excitement. For today is the 42nd annual Los Santos Demo Derby. This is an event steeped in history, with the first being held at this very arena decades ago, where Sir Reginald Spliffington emerged the victor after beating off rival derbyman Albert Grointangle. 
But back to the present day, and the weather is hot as shit. The contestants are here in full force, beaming with sheer delight. However, there has been a catastrophic setback already, as the arena's janitor left the door keys at home, and we've had to relocate the derby to the roof. Now we cut back to the action live as super bastard Jimmy Speed, who is the crowd favourite here, gets to work pummeling bumpers and trucks like there's no tomorrow. And what's this? It appears that the eliminated contestants that were knocked to the lower ring have formed an impromptu race to the death of sorts. They seem to be circling the outer regions of the main battleground in order to gain some recognition for their failed attempts at victory. This is a sheer thrust of mayhem up the anal cavity of this demo derby. And oh my wordly wordington, one of the contestants has been twatted clear of the arena. Nippling crikey, the action here is really hotting up. Full highlights will be here at 11pm. Back to you in the studio, Dom. And that's all for our show tonight. Thank you for tuning in, and be sure to catch us next time on Weasel News. This is Don Lavender, signing off. Hi, I'm Don Lavender, and this is the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I didn't get nominated, but I jump on any bandwagon that I can. So I am going to nominate...